welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a get ready with me slash first impressions video. I am trying out a bunch of new stuff. Drugstore, high end, mostly drugstore. I picked up a few things by the brand Lottie London. I've actually had this for a couple of months and I've been meaning to film a video for you guys. But it's so hard because I feel like get ready with me videos. You have to sit down, put your makeup on, edit them and stuff like that. And I just never seem to get around to it. So on Saturday morning, I actually decided to sit down and film some makeup application for you guys. I also use the new ColourPop brushes. I use the new ColourPop concealer, um, the Lancome foundation that I've been wearing for a while. Oh, and I also use this NARS palette. It's amazing. It's the summer face palette if you haven't seen it. So there's going to be a bunch of new makeup in this video. So if you're interested, just keep watching. So I totally forgot to put lip balm on. And I'm using the Glossier Balm.com in the coconut scent. And this is really nice. I really like it. Is it anything to write home about? No, but I got really excited when I first tried Glossier and I have a bunch of those laying around the house. So very exciting stuff, but like I said in the intro, we're mostly going to try out these new products by Lottie London, but I have a ton of new products, so I thought I'll just put it all together in a video for you guys. So usually when I start off, I do with start with my eyes, so I'm just going to prep my lids with the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. I'm so sorry I'm out of breath, but I've been sick this whole last week, and so that's why I sound like a smoker, but... Oh well. And then this is just the Real Techniques brush. I kind of talked about it in a video recently where I said I just feel like I have so much makeup I have no time to actually tell you guys about what I love. I don't have time to do demos and stuff so I thought I would make more of a conscious effort to do that. Now this is the Lottie London Shadow Swatch 12 piece eyeshadow palette and this is in the shade The Russ. Super cute, it kind of reminds me of the Urban Decay palettes, the Naked palettes. And of course I forgot to open these. <laughs> so let me try and get this open. I've been trying really hard to grow out my nails because every once in a while I'll get really stressed and I'll just bite them all off, which is really gross. Um, but when I can get them grown, they grow out really nicely. I feel like I've been blessed with pretty nice nails. If you guys are struggling with strengthening your nails, I really like this stuff. This is the Opi Nail Envy for soft and thin nails. So if you get your nails done a lot, if you get acrylics and your nails are thinned out, I really like this. I use it as like a base coat before I put on a nail polish and feel like it lasts a really long time. So here is a quick look at the eyeshadow palette. I opened it. It does have a brush. It has like a spongy side and like a flat side. I probably won't use that, but these shades look really nice. So I'm really excited to see if these are pigmented because that is what we care about. So I'm going in with this Morphe E27 and I'm just going to take this shade right here, which is called Tilly. Um, it's just like a regular nude shade. I just want to use it to set the paint pot. So I'm just swirling this pretty much all over the lid. This brush, the E27 brush, is the one I usually go in with first. Anytime I do my makeup because it's like a big blending brush. And so I think it really nicely distributes product on my lid. Okay. I wonder how pigmented these shades are. I'm going to swatch them really quick. Mm. The shimmers definitely swatched nicer. So these are pretty prime. Now I'm going to go in with this shade, which is Ava, I believe. Did I do that right? It might be Nicole. Sorry, it's Nicole. So it's like a nice brown color. These are like my favorite crease colors. And I have to look down because I have a mirror right here. Uh, not really feeling the pigmentation here. 
Do you guys see anything? <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay, let me try some more. Blend, blend, blend. Blend, blend, blend. Okay, so. Then I see a really pretty dark shade right here. That one's called Jenny, I believe. So I want to put that in my crease. It's like a brown, almost like a burgundy brown shade. This palette is not coming off as very pigmented. It's like $12.99, so it's a good price for the drugstore, but with all those new Maybelline palettes and things coming out, I feel like you can't just be like a shitty eyeshadow palette anymore, you know? You gotta have something. Really not feeling that. Gonna try the darkest color in the palette. It's called Erin. Let's see if I can pop that on the other corner. I can't really tell if it's showing up because it's so bright in here. Might just be me being blind. I don't know. We'll have to see. Does that look like it's darkening up my outer corner for you guys? Because I just feel like I'm rubbing and nothing's happening. Okay. That's whatever. And then I'm just going to take this little Tarte Unicorn brush and go into April. I'm going to try that first as my lid color. See if it's pigmented. Oh god. This palette is gross, you guys. Oh, there's like nothing there. Are you kidding me? I can't. <laughs> Do you guys see that? There's nothing there. Let's try this bronzy shade. The bronze one felt a little more promising when I swatched it. I can already tell you guys this is going back to the Ultra Store because I am not impressed with this situation one bit. I'm so excited you guys. I was able to get a hold of the Moschino Bear. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to swatch that for you guys. And then there's quite a bit of fallout. I don't know if you guys can see. This eyeshadow look sucks. That's okay because all we're doing today is just having like grill and chill session at our house. So I'm not like too worried about it, like having all this makeup on. But for review purposes, this palette's pretty pathetic. I'm gonna try and press it on with my finger. I don't even think it's like staying on. Like the shadow. I don't think it's gonna make it all day. So I'm gonna call this a fail. And that is definitely going back to the store. Let's do foundation. So usually I don't wear primer. Um, it's just something I've been doing for a while because I don't really feel like my skin needs it. I use a hydrating lotion on my face, so I don't ever really use primer. I don't think it's something you need, unless you're doing like a pore filler or something like that. You can, but with the type of skin I have, I don't really need that. So um, foundation I wanted to try out on camera today for you guys is the Lancome Tint Adol Ultra 24 Hour Makeup. And this has SPF 15, Wear and Comfort, Retouch Free. Um, and it just is supposed to be this awesome foundation. I've been wearing it for a while. It's um, definitely an interesting foundation. And then I'm gonna also use some of the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops. I feel like this combination together works really well. So I'm just using the dipper from the Cover FX to mix these up. And then my Eco Tool Sponge. And then I'm just gonna browse this on to my skin. And I think that blended in like really well. And so yeah, that's a really good foundation combination. I think it lasts pretty well for me personally. So 
you guys are interested in that, I should tell you the shades I wear. So I wear 46 in the long comb, and then for the cover FX drops, I got the shade G70. This is nice because you can literally mix it in to anything. Um, your foundations, um, if you want to make them more pigmented, if you want to add them into your facial moisturizer, your sun protector, you can mix it in. Or you can wear it on its own too, so lots of options with the cover FX drops. They just, I like to use it to make this foundation more pigmented is what I like to use it for. So now that we've got our base, I want to show you guys the ColourPop concealers. I picked up two shades. I feel like I could have gone a little darker. Um, I picked up uh, Golden, which is 40, and then uh, Tan, which is 50. I thought these would be dark enough, but they're, they could be darker. So I'm just going to go in with Tan, and this is a really nice concealer. And <laughs> considering it only cost, um, what is it, $6? Was it $6 for these? And the applicator, and they're currently sold out, so I'm just waiting for a restock. Um, with ColourPop on the concealers so I could pick up one more shade darker for me but even this I think is so good and so if you're looking for affordable concealers I would totally recommend the ColourPop ones um, they have been really good to me I think they're very long wearing super nice formula really good I try so hard not to shop on ColourPop pretty much every week because they're always coming up with new products but um honestly they've been just like knocking it out of the park recently like with those eyeshadow palettes like the she palette and the yes please palette like get your hands on those they're so good and they're so affordable it's crazy like the new huda palette so excited for that you guys know i hate the Huda Rose Gold palette, but I really want to try a new palette because the shades just speak to me, and this time I'm just going to buy it from Sephora, so then if I don't like it, I can return it, because her first palette I bought off the Huda Beauty website, and I'm not going to flex with that anymore, so I'm just going to buy it on Sephora.com when it comes out, and yeah, so... Really excited for that launch. And this Eco Tool sponge, guys, rocks. Just a fun fact for you. I also did pick up the ColourPop brushes. I was gonna try and use some of them in this video. So let's see here. Um, I need something for my under eyes. So let's try this one, which is the number two. It's like a really soft, looks like a powder brush. And then this is the new powder I've been trying. This is a Cover FX powder, um, Perfect Press Powder in the shade Medium. And I really love Cover FX as a brand, you guys. Honestly, like their stuff is so good. Like the custom cover drops, the powders. Oh my gosh, this is like wasting my powder because it's like really digging into it. Um, so you gotta be careful because this baby was not cheap. So I like to set, um, I have dry skin, so I just like to set my under eyes, the bridge of my nose, my forehead, well, basically like everything, but I'm not too heavy with powder, and I don't reapply during the day. I just want it to, like, not move, you know, my makeup. So, yeah. The brush felt really good, so that's nice. Little winner. These were, like, for the whole set. I didn't buy the brush roll, I just bought all the brushes. It was 50 bucks, so it wasn't like super duper cheap, but with ColourPop guys, I have like no control. I just like buy it, done. So let's do my brows really quick. And I just wish, like I feel like my brows used to be so much better. I feel like over the years, like getting them threaded or not threaded, but like waxed have really like fucked with the shape of my brows. I used to have really thick brows and I still kind of do, but they like grow out and I don't know. I just, 
I wish I could get microblading, but I recently saw somebody ask on Facebook, like, where can you get microblading in Fargo? And most people were like, do not get it done in Fargo. And I was like, yeah, that's what I thought. Like, I'm not risking that. I'll just keep filling them in. And um, I think I could probably get it done in Minnesota, but I um, just don't know yet. And it's not exactly cheap. It's like four or five hundred dollars to get microblading. Um, so yeah, we'll have to see. Obviously, I think you still have to get waxed and stuff, you know, because your hair is going to keep growing. So I don't know if it's like cost efficient. But my brows have currently grown and I just use like a like a trimmer to like kind of try and keep them in check <laughs> in between. I haven't gotten them done in a while. Um, but I think for some reason on camera, you can't tell how overgrown they are. So I'm just going to milk it for what it's worth because it is what it is. And while I did my brows, I realized I totally forgot to do brow highlight. So I'm going to do that after my clear brow gel by Anastasia dries up. Also, can I just get in like two seconds of like, what the fuck Sephora with that fucking Muschino launch? Like, really? Like, it sold out at like 2 a.m. And then I was up like on Instagram while we watched a movie and some girl posted and she was like, oh, after trying all day, I was able to add it to my cart. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, that's bullshit. So then I was able to add it to my cart, like she said. And uh, so I bought it. So I'm really excited, but I feel like they did it really badly because clearly they had stuff left over that they sold in the last minute. So... I don't know what the fuck Sephora was doing that day, but anyways, um, Lottie London, Casey Holmes raved about these eye products, so I was really excited to get the liquid liner because I am definitely not a gel kind of girl, so I thought I would try this because it wasn't very expensive either, so again, should have thought to open these before I was on camera. We're good! We freed the eyeliner! Okay, so... I don't know how much this how much of this you're gonna be able to see, but I like to start with my wing usually on the inner corner. And I love the name of this liquid pen. It's called um Wing Woman. It's coming out really nice and opaque. Looks like it's gonna be a matte black. Ooh, wow, I love it. Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna try and do a wing. <laughs> this is how I do wings, okay? So I usually like will pull my eye. I know you're not supposed to, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, not bad. It's like, um, how much is this eyeliner? I think it's like four or five dollars. I will list it in the video when I'm editing it. I'm not sure, but pretty opaque. Um, <clears throat> I'm really loving the Maybelline Curvitude right now. This is my favorite liner pen, but I've been wanting to try this Lottie London one. I've actually had this order forever. It's just that, like I've said so many times, I get so much makeup, like I buy so much makeup that all I'm doing is swatching. I never have time to review. I never have time to play with new makeup that I get because then the next palette comes out and I'm like super stressed about trying it. So one of my goals has been to buy less makeup and spend more time playing with the makeup I have so I can actually put out more reviews for you guys instead of just doing like swatch videos. And forgetting all about some of these palettes. So um, I definitely like this liner.
but that was really good. I'm really impressed. I hope you guys can see the wing I created with that liner. Cool. Okay, well, now I'm excited. I want to try the pencil in my lower lash line. Um, so I just use, usually I use, actually, I use a sponge. So I'll just go like this. Moo. Butter. I think I just found the replacement to my Ardency In pencil. This is like way cheaper. Wow. This is so nice. I'm so happy right now. So, these two, huge hit, Lottie London. Very happy. Gonna grab some thing from this palette to give me a little bit of highlight under the brows because we forgot to do that. Even though this palette sucks, I just want to use it on a full look. And then we want to smoke out the lower lash line. So let's grab the shade and I'm just using a big fluffy brush from Morphe, but it has a pointed tip, M412. And I'm just setting that. I don't really do a lot of lower lash work, so that's the best I can do. This palette sucks, I'm sorry if I keep saying that, but yeah. But the eyeliner, I'm loving. Okay, so usually I do bronzer next, and then this is one more thing I got from Lobby London, is their Tan Time Bronzer. Super cute. It has little stars on it. And let's see what brush should we use from ColourPop. Um, do you think the powder brush? These brushes are so soft. Mm, I guess I could try it. What's the worst thing that can happen? Okay, so, ooh, this is pretty powdery. So I have a lot. Okay. I like to, ooh. This brush has that new new smell. Can you guys see that or am I just making that up? Is there an actual color coming through on my face? I can't see. I can't see. I'm so tan and I can't see. Is it doing anything? Or is it like too close to the color of my skin? I don't know if they had multiple colors. I feel like I don't see anything. Do I see anything? <laughs> oh God, just hit my mirror. What do you guys think? Hmm. Okay, let me show you this palette. This is the NARS Bord de Plage palette, and I did not need this. This is so extra, but I was at um, Sephora, and I was like, oh my God, it's so pretty. I swatched the highlighter, and I was like, Hell yes. So I bought it because, you know, I have problems like that and uh, it's gorgeous. So I'm just going to use the, I just mix the two bronzers because I feel like they're both too light. So I just mix them together. Um, in here they have Laguna and Casino, but it's the sun washed um, formula, which I think is a little bit lighter than the usual NARS formula. So my recent favorite blush has been Actually, this trio is amazing. If you're my skin tone, I think you'll love this. This is uh, the Her Palette by ColourPop. And this is their press powders for your face. And all these colors are amazing. I This is like my go-to three if I was ever traveling. And I could bring just like one palette, one face palette. This would be it because it's compact. It has everything I need. All the colors work well for me. I'm not really a blush person, so I'm trying to use very little. It looks a little scary in the viewfinder, I'm not gonna lie. But don't sleep on those ColourPop palettes. They're so good. And then, for the highlight, for the Pièce de Résistance. I don't know if I say that right. Do I say that right? I don't know. Ooh. Let's pop some of this in the inner corner. So my favorite shade has been this gold one, which is Glate, I believe. Oh my God. But let's use one of these lighter colors in the inner corner. No, 
just like giving a little pop twist since my eyeshadow is so boring. And then for highlight, I'm gonna use the ColourPop fan brush. Let's see if this will, I'm just gonna grab multiple highlights. See, I don't like fan brushes for highlighter because I feel like it just does it in like almost a line. And I like my highlighter to blend. I don't know, maybe I'm crazy. I'm just using like all the highlighters in this palette. It's so pretty. <laughs> do you guys see that? That highlight, do you see it? Let's put some on the nose. And you guys, Cupid's bow highlight, life changing. Like, if you don't put highlight on your Cupid's bow, like, what are you doing with your life? You know what I'm saying? And the chin, always gotta hit the chin. Oh God, <laughs> I may have put too much on, but that's okay because there's no such thing. Not too much highlight. No. Am I getting like more obnoxious as the highlights going on? I think what happened was the lighter shade got a little out of control. So we just pat that down, but I'm just gonna leave it because you know, whatever, I can do whatever I want. Get away with it badge, you know, but that like that NARS highlighter palette is fucking lit. Like, I don't care if you think I have too much highlight on, get the fuck off my channel. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Sorry, I'm just really sassy about my highlight, okay? I really like it and yeah, so that's that. So mm. this is uh, the Scandinavia, the makeup finishing spray, the bridal one. And I've had this for a while and I've been trying it out and I honestly don't like this. The sprayer is terrible. And a lot of people on YouTube talk about Scandinavia. So I was curious and I bought it and they always have sales going on on their website. But honestly, I don't like it. I'm just trying to use it up at this point. Okay, now I got two new lippies to try out. These are from Influencer and L'Oreal. Um, these are the Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipsticks. Super excited. I got two shades. I got Cowboy and Milk and Cookies. Um, so I just get sent these by Influencer for free. And they just, you know, you get them so you can review them. And I really like that because... I buy all of my other products, so it is nice to get something every once in a while. And the shade Cowboy is just calling my name. So, there you go. Ooh, it's like a warm nude. These are my favorite. Ugh. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, God, this is so pretty. This is like a whore for lipstick. Oh, okay, I'm gonna try the other color too. I'm just gonna mix them together because this sounds like a grade. And mm -mm 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 -mm. it tones down the heat of the other one a little bit for me, which I like because I want it to be too brown. Oh, uh-huh, mm-hmm. I'm, I've gotten so dark. I don't know if it's the lighting or my white t-shirt that's making me look like so dark. And I hope it doesn't look so dark in the video. So like I look a different color. But your girl is tan this summer, yo. Holy shit. Okay, so just need to do mascara. And then I am done with this demo for you guys. Okay, so I'm just using my Sephora Lash Curler. Honestly, lash curlers, life-changing. Don't be scared of them. They just curl your lashes just like you curl your hair. Like, it's not that calm. It's not that serious, guys. People get so freaked out when you try to use a lash curler on them. Like, it's not that big of a deal. Roller, Roller Lash by Benefit. So in love. I used to think this was so overhyped, but for some reason I pulled it out one day and started using it. And oh my gosh, I just love it. It like lengthens, separates, 
and it doesn't clump. I don't like clumping mascaras. That's what I'm realizing. And so I would rather have like separated out lashes than clumpy lashes that look really thick. And I think this is a great like top and bottom because of how the wand is. You can really get so you don't have to like switch mascaras because like how high maintenance is having the mascaras. So I'm done with my makeup. I'm going to finish up with my hair and come back and yeah, so excited. Okay guys, so here is the final look. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, it was definitely interesting trying out some of that drugstore stuff. It is new at Ulta, kind of new. It was new when I bought it, so it's not so new anymore. But I hope you guys enjoyed hearing my opinions. If you have any questions, leave me a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you have a great day. Bye!